Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's day five of the trek. Um, actually day four of the trek, but more like day five of this adventure so far. Uh, you can see the mountain behind me from the view from my room that I got upgrade yesterday. Uh, so basically, uh, today we're actually gonna hike six hours up uh, into Tengboche. Uh, my body feel like crap right now. It feels like a steamroller just went past my my body. Everything hurts right now, and uh, I I hope really hope to slowly push myself to do better. Cause it's gonna be a very very long day. It's gonna be a very very tough day. Yeah, wish me well. So here's the view from my room as I'm about to leave today. Today's a little bit colder. The temperature in Namche is at 2 degrees Celsius. I was kind of freezing here, so I had like a double blanket situation going on here. Yeah, not, not so fun in uh, 2 degrees temperature, trying to get some sleep. But nevertheless, I got really good sleep. Um, yeah, this is uh, my breakfast for the morning. So uh, yeah, this is just American breakfast. I have uh, two eggs, toast. Warm, warm orange juice again, and uh, some potatoes. Today is day four of the trek. You can see the town right here. This is where we were at. And uh, here's the path we're walking. This is very paved out. This is actually done by a man who actually collects donation on the way from all of this, all of us traveling to Everest Base Camp, or maybe some part somewhere else. And then he actually hire people to kind of pave the way to make this road really smooth. So you can see the the path is much smoother than the last few days. You can see the sun actually spill into the spill through the fog, and then actually looks very nice in the morning. Yeah, we'll keep moving. Okay, so yeah, we're halfway through the we're on our way to our lunch place. Uh, so there's a you can't really tell that there's a bridge here somewhere around here. Yeah, the, there's this bridge here. So this bridge is where I lost the hat, and that, that was the biggest uh, suspension bridge we have crossed so far. I think to cross a few more. Yeah. Okay, so we continue walking. We can definitely today we can still see a little bit of Everest. Here is Everest. This is just quite crazy that you know this is Everest. Yeah. Awesome. Just more view of the Everest. You can see top of Everest, kind of like smoking from the clouds. So continue on the trekking. This is Kombu, the king of Kombu. Yeah, so it's so, such a big mountain in front of my face. Uh, it actually makes me feel very, very small. Well, a small person living in such a big world. So we're still on the path where we kind of walk about maybe a good uh, 2 km or so already, 2 kilometers or so already. Mm. Yeah, and this path is still kind of the flat out path that was done out, and now it's just surrounded by the forest from the trees and everything. Uh, it looks quite quite amazing. Okay, so yeah, we're just gonna pass another one of this bridge. This one is a. Are they, is this a metal bridge? Yeah. Oh, okay. So it links up here through, through this metal bridge. Hopefully, it stays steady. Looks like there's a few. Missing things, so I'm gonna walk real quick. Can I cut through? There's a mountain tiger on its way to run its errand. We made it to the village of uh, Sanasa, and uh, yeah, you can see it's quite a lively market here. You can see a bunch of things on sale the meal, bells, uh, bracelets, and everything. You can see a lot of the Buddhist scripture as mentioned and behind they yeah, are just selling it just behind casually behind this giant mountains up in up in here. Yeah. Quite a good quite a sight. Just gonna walk a little bit further up. And we're just gonna take a few take a view of this. It's crazy how yeah. How tall these mountains are! Oh, look at that! This all these vibrant flowers from the uh, Himalayan. I don't know if it's Alps, but maybe Himalayan hills. Yeah, I think Alps is more for uh, Switzerland stuff. So this guy is riding back to 
Nam Che, yeah. So cool. Uh, everybody's kind of panting on the way up back to Nan Che. We're headed downwards. Yeah, but he's headed back to where we came from yesterday. Uh, there was a bunch of uh, people from uh, different countries like Canada and such. They were just climbing up, panting upwards. Uh, now comes the yaks. Should be this actual yak. The previous ones are down the mountains, are uh, aren't yak. So actually in the cold enough region where yak can thrive and survive here. They headed to where we were just now in the Samasa direction. They love camping gears and everything. Still heard of them coming through. What's behind? No, no, no. Baby. Oh, they're baby yaks. Okay, so here comes more baby yaks. They have mini bells on them. So cute. Today is just kind of a lot of this kind of uh, rocky downhills. And uh, one misstep can kind of like break your ankle and end the entire track. If you're not careful, and it's a very slippery route, especially when you're going downhill. That almost happened to me. A little trickle here, you can see the water kind of flowing through. Actually goes down to form a very very big big uh, river and ridges that we can see later on. So we saw the trickle just now, actually it leads down here. Wow, look at this. It's uh, all the fast flowing river, fast flowing waters. Here we are, gonna pass this suspension bridge after the yaks come over. Slow and steady. Yeah, crossing the bridges. Yeah, crossing the bridge. They know their way around the bridge. Yes. So we're just gonna cross the bridge after the yaks have just crossed. So the, the entire structure of this uh, bridge might have been compromised a little, which I definitely hope not. So we're gonna walk past them so you can see. Here are the yaks, they're crossing through, and you have your river and gorges. And I'm hoping this time I don't lose my head, I'm grabbing all my head real tight. You can see the fast flowing rivers that we have just kind of showed you. What an amazing sight! Yeah, so this is how uh, construction is actually done here on, on the high, high mountain areas. So they don't actually use concrete or cement or any kind of thing to kind of secure the thing but they're just chopping down stones to kind of uh, build the structure of the entire house okay. brick by brick mostly by hand Here's another check-in post that my guy is actually helping me to do the check-in to kind of let us pass through the next bound of our route Yeah, There's a lot of things going on here and, uh, Oh, you have a lost yak here. Not really a yak, but it's, it's, it's somehow just lost here. No mining or its own business. And there's a lot of construction work going on here. Mainly on this is just the manual. Yeah, so this is like, uh, it generates energy through the water that we just passed by. Uh, so you can see it's actually using as a power source. Clear wheel. For them, yeah. This is the first one we've seen actually running very fast because I think the stream here is a bit heavier. Yeah, today's just a lot of uphills. You can see it's just mountains. All around, just mountains. And a lot of uphills. And they're just passing by some workers, just building up, pumping up some stuff. Yeah. Well, I'm kind of really spent. Um, we're in the Tengboche area already. So we're passing by this monastery. Uh, yeah, kind of expects us to be in silence when we pass by the monastery. So I can whisper a little bit when I pass by and show you all how it looks like inside.
are in Tengboche, so you can see my face. Uh, it's uh, checked out. I'm all out, but I'm here at Tengboche. Just on the stupa on uh, Tengboche. I believe this is the monastery. Yeah, still trying to catch my breath. I'm walking very slowly on this day four of it. I'm coming close to the end of the day already. I'm halfway through the day, but at the day I didn't really check. It's coming to an end soon. Hopefully I get to rest among these mountains. Here's the entire landscape of Tengboche. We kind of hiked about 5 to 6 km today. I'm barely even getting any breath because I need a lot of oxygen to come. Breathe as the air gets thinner. Each breath I take, every step I take up, it's gonna be harder and harder all the way up to Everest Space Camp. Yeah. This is actually the very small town of Dingboche. Ding there's a few like uh, Dingboche and there's a few other places that have this very similar sounding names. But here is a monastery, we'll come over here at about 4 pm or so. Uh, yeah, this is pretty much the end of the, the entire town. You can see uh, Anapura, Ana, Ama Dalam or something like that, something like that. Uh, that we saw earlier the last few days, but now we're getting closer to it. So this is my hotel. This is the hotel here. That's the hotel. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of uh, landscape here. It's very little hotels, very little guest houses. Yeah, but it's, uh, it's a very simple town. So I just reached the hotel I'm staying in, there's like some glamping options or maybe it's just for locals. Yeah, we're gonna go eat lunch now. We're gonna find for lunch. Yeah, so I'm getting a quite a lunch with a view today. So you can see I'm at... I'm, uh, I'm gonna not say where I'm at because I don't really know where I'm at. I'll, I'll just confirm it later. So today I'm having a, something, something different for lunch again. This is a uh, Sherpa stew. It's actually made of a uh, different things such as uh, potato, carrot, there's some noodles, there's some rice in there. It's actually mixed like a mixed vegetable soup with noodles and rice. So yeah, I'm gonna dig in. There's no way to kind of like fix my hair. It's all over the place. Just, it's just not, it's not gonna behave. Um, just up here now chilling. In, I'm already reached my destination of Teng Chebu. And I'm um, just enjoying a hot cup of hot mango. This is the first time I'm drinking something hot mango. I've never had, I've never tried that one. So this, this is the hot mango. Yeah, it tastes like mango, but they, they use it like a, they use some powder to get the mango taste out of it. It's like a mango tea. So yeah, this is the view out here. So yeah, this is quite, quite a relaxing drink to have in the cold. Right now it's maybe about 10 degrees or, so, or under. So I'm done with lunch, uh, I thought I'd just give you all a room tour. Basically here is my uh, lodge for tonight. It's the Tashi Delic Lodge and Restaurant. So let's go to my room. Enjoy a meal downstairs, I can enjoy, enjoy a meal upstairs as well. Here we get the view of Madalang. Another big mountain along the way. So here's the room. We all have a common toilet. It's the restroom. My room is just next to the restroom. So I can straight away immediately get access to the toilet next door. I'm trying to get that. Okay, the key works. I'm just gonna hang it back. Okay, here's my room. You can see that. Dustbin room. 
thing is two beds all to myself there's two windows and I have the view of the big mountains at the back it's uh yeah it's quite a dream to live in this kind of house so yeah we're at Teng Bo Che uh, I just got a quick nap I actually got here at like lunch time uh, yeah I fell asleep because I don't have anything planned for the night I decided uh, it's too cold to just sleep there so I just kind of woke up to kind of like get some exercise walk around kind of shake off a little bit of the altitude get I'm okay uh, right now I'm really okay I'm very good um, so you can see that there's a lot of shop houses here you see there's this uh, bakery there's a lounge there's a lot of lounge lodge here so uh, people can come here and stay and then there is a big field I think this is all for the uh, whole yaks to kind of like come on come over here and play yeah we're just amidst the mountain yeah so today's a kind of like a nice uh, day out I don't have much to do so like I'm just surrounded by all these mountains here um, monastery, the temples, the mountains, there's just so many things to look at. Um, I, uh, yeah, for, the, for me today is kind of like a day where I kind of uh, picked up a lot of, a uh, little bit of uh, altitude sickness here and there, but I, I inhaled deep breaths and then it kind, of, it, it kind of worked a little bit and I drank a lot of, a bunch of water, so the water actually um, clears up the Clears up the air, you can see my nose is all red up because of, from the cold. Right now it's about 6 degrees here at Tengboche. Yeah, so um, yeah, we, this is kind of like the end of today. We're gonna show, I'm gonna have dinner later on, but I'm feeling a little bit hungry. So maybe I'll see if there's some, some delicious snacks along the way that I can actually get to try. Yeah, peace. Here he goes the money it's big one huh? you need a lot of strength <laughs> yeah nice yeah. three times three times oh, yes one more So right now I'm in uh, Teng Bo Che's, uh, this monastery in Teng Bo Che. So the thing is that for this monastery itself, uh, hold up, let me just zoom out so you can see. Uh, for this for this uh, monastery itself, you can see that uh, this actually only opens, it only opens for uh, two timings, which is 1 p.m. and 4 p.m. And they uh, expect the guests to kind of like observe uh, as well as what is happening in in silence so uh, I'm gonna be a little bit quiet when I'm in there filming so yeah let's go in you can see some shapes of the stu stupa There's a name for this monastery. tree. It just has its open and closed timing. Uh, yeah. Let's see the view here from the door. Let me see the view. That's pretty good stuff. We'll take the ascent up. The monk uh, image right there. Yeah. Again, the view. Look at that. This will be headed tomorrow. And that, that sound kind of. You can hear the person blowing up. I think that's the opening of the temple itself, the monastery. Blowing, you can hear 
here the one one when one disconnects there's another one that connects after We're gonna follow him inside. Join them inside. Yeah. Join them inside. Just wait. Just wait. Sorry? Okay. See what's happening inside. So I just came out from the uh, monastery, so uh, I think that uh, they, they actually just sat in for a two hours praying session with the monks. Um, they actually did like a prayer, full prayer thing, they had a whole setup of it. Uh, not something you commonly seen in Singapore, but uh, yeah, it's something very different. I couldn't film inside unfortunately, because uh, it's very sensitive for them to kind of share the religion and share all about this, all, all about this, yeah. So they have kind of like uh, ended that session. So now it's time for dinner. So we're kind of just before sunset, and you can see that it's actually very calm. You can see the clouds already pass, already blew past the mountains. You can see the mountains more clearly than before. Yeah, it's a very good view here. So we're into the tea house where we have our, where I had lunch, and now we have dinner here. And this is actually a tea house. It's quite busy. This is at night ready. So everybody's kind of having their meals here. There's a fireplace right here. You can see the fireplace. Yeah, so everybody's kind of having their meals, chilling right here. So I'm looking forward to having my dinner. Slight change from my uh, usual. Uh, cheese is not my favorite stuff, but down here you want to go for all the veggie stuff. So this is the veggie vegetable fried noodle. Yeah. So this is the dinner for tonight. So I'm at Ding Buche. We actually made it at lunchtime, so I've said it in the previous video. Uh, I actually went for um, today I kind of went for a prayer session, which is like a cut close to about two hours long. Uh, pray for to the Buddha and, and things like that. Um, it was uh, quite interesting because I don't have I don't see that a lot from where I'm from. Um, you can see that uh, I'm overly dressed right now. It's because the temperature outside right now is about 2 degrees, it might drop even further. Mm, I might feel definitely gonna feel very very cold. It's gonna go negative probably when we go tomorrow. Um, today wise, it's a lot of uh, hard work. It's a lot of uphill up from Namche. Uh, Namche was this very very big, very very big hill to climb from and then now I'm on the higher elevation. And I'm feeling a little bit of the altitude sickness here and there. So I'm trying to breathe more of the mountain air, trying to get it into the system so that I can uh, feel better tomorrow. Because tomorrow we're gonna go even higher before we kind of take a break the following day. So yeah, stay tuned. Tomorrow 